Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the oxygen state of N15 elements and now we are going to talk about that why does NF5 does not exist. So this is the thing that we are going to talk about. So now let us understand this one in this topic. So friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the oxygen state of nitrogen. So based on that only we are going to talk about that is why does NF5 does not exist. So suppose if we consider the electronic configuration of nitrogen, obviously we can write it as 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. And suppose if we talk about the electrons, so therefore the s orbital consists of two electrons. So I'm talking about the p orbital that consists of, we see three electrons, that is what I'm writing over here, 1, 2 and 3. But to form NF5 as a molecule, obviously it needs we see five unpaired electrons, and that's the reason that uh, the electrons that are basically present as an unpaired electron they are basically three. So even though if we try to shift this electron to the other orbital, suppose if I am shifting to the other orbital that is 3s, so by shifting this electron to the other orbital, we can easily get that is five unpaired electrons. But the thing is. The shifting of electron towards the 3s orbital is very much difficult because nitrogen is very much electronegative and so as to shift the electron we need basically d orbitals so that's the reason that we can't that is shift this electron to the other orbital that's the reason nf5 does not exist suppose if we compare this with a formation of pf5 so now let me elaborate the answer that is why does pf5 exist but why does not NF5 exists. So this is the topic that I want to talk about. So now let us understand that also. So if we talk about the electronic configuration of phosphorus, so obviously we understand that is the phosphorus has an electronic configuration that could be written as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3. Or I could write it as 3d0. So here if we observe then the S orbital consists of basically two electrons. This P orbital consists of three electrons and there is no electron in the D orbit. But we understand that is to form PF5 as a molecule, we need basically five unpaired electrons, but this electron that is being present in the S orbital that can be shifted. Or that is we can excite this electron so that for this electron can be shifted to this D orbital, and that's the reason that we could get basically one, two, three, four, five, five unpaired electrons. And based on that, we also understand that is the fluorine is the one that can stop that is one unpaired electron. So that's the reason. And there will be formation of five covalent bonds with the phosphorus atom. And that's the reason that PF5 exists and NF5 does not exist. So it is also similar to that of NCL5 also does not exist, but we can also say that is PCL5 exists. So that's the reason because of the unavailability of the D orbital the NF5 is not being existing. So that's the reason that I was talking about. This was related to the oxidation state also and that's the reason that the nitrogen has a maximum that is covalency of 4 but it cannot be extended. But phosphorus, it can be. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.